in, in the front yard. Oh, me too. Or when I see the, uh, the hummingbirds, hummingbirds, by the way, uh, this is how much of a nerd I am. I, I follow a website that physically tracks them and uses traffic cameras across America to spot them and report where they are. I love they that. They are anticipated that they will be in the southern part of the state of Delaware this weekend having traveled from central Mexico. That's incredible. Yeah. What a journey, isn't it? So these are little birdhouses, one of my favorites, brought to us by a company that does some really cute stuff. The company name is Evergreen, and I get to reintroduce you to Ginger Walt. Welcome back. Hi, How so are great you? to be here. Thank you very much. A little well. ray of sunshine. Oh, thank you. You know, I am hearing the birds every morning and more and more, louder and louder. I know spring yeah, is like yeah. right here. This is the best time for you to provide a nice little home for those cute little chicks. And these are just adorable. Brought to us by a company, Evergreen. I've been bringing Evergreen items here for probably well over 12 years. And it's made out of polystone. It's a nice, huge home on the inside for your little friends. We have three designs <coughs> that are left and remaining. This one is our purple pansy. And we did something different this year where we added the little insects. So I love the little butterfly accent. And you can see around the, the backside, that is the drainage hole that is on, or the um, clean out hole. Mm -hmm. But you know what? We don't do it. We don't clean them out, do we? We just, just let them go. Yeah. That's it. And then the next choice over here, this one is our pale yellow magnolia. And we added a cute little ladybug on the very top. And then our last choice, we did have other ones, but we kind of sold out of them. It didn't kind of, they're gone, right? completely gone. And then the last one, this one is our succulent, done just almost exactly like a succulent would be with those lighter greens. And they kind of goes out to the outer petals with a little bit of purple, the blue. And we added a cute little family of ladybugs, one that looks like it's about ready to take flight or just landing right on there. They're about seven inches. The, the succulent is a little bit larger around in diameter and they do come with a chain yep. so that you can hang, hang them. You can um, put them, nestle them into any sort of, like I have mine in, in an evergreen tree and I okay. leave it alone. I tuck it like almost in the center of the evergreen tree. So they've got some protection, got so some cover. A little bit of protection okay. and coverage. They are UV protected, so the color that is that is on these now, they're all individually hand painted, but it's gonna stay as just as gorgeous for years and years to come. You can see that beautiful purple pansy that has the multiple colors of the purple with that bright yellow that's in the center, and of course that really pretty yellow butterfly that's on the side. And quite large, and if they come in and they, they make their little nests, I don't clean them out because they do that themselves. They'll find or debris they'll from another one or they'll yeah. recycle and they'll re, you know, rebuild their nest on there as well. Look how cute. I love that we added the little insects, that cute little butter uh, um, ladybug that's on the very top. I love ladybugs when I see them. My daughter, who is seven now, loves to does look for them. Does she believe they're good luck? She does yeah. believe they're good yep. and she wants to keep them and keep them inside the house. So I, I often see her you know, kind of with, she'll kind of sneak around and mom, I just want to keep them. It's okay, mom. I, I just want to keep them inside the house. Yeah. I have to let her know, like, you know, they need some food and some yeah, water. They, they, they want to be I'll outdoor. take care of that, mom. No worries. The, the second, by the way, uh, was so one of the new designs yes. for this new season for 2020. And I don't have many of them. That pink paisley, uh, pardon, purple paisley. Yes. Uh, is, or pansy, purple pa I didn't purple get any pansy. of that right. People, purple Whew. people eater. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Uh, that that has been the most popular yes. at this particular point. So pretty. And there, I'm going to turn that all the way around so you can see that's where the hole is there. But so many people love to collect these really nice birdhouses to put indoors. And this is a really nice piece that you can kind of nestle into your homescape yep. and just kind of lean it up against. You can certainly take I, that chain wanna, off if you'd like. I want to physically use it though. Kelly collects oh, birdhouses. Oh yeah, oh yeah, completely. Our entire, yeah, it's crazy, so nice. our, our entire kitchen, you look, there should be flocks, <laughs> flocks of birds in the kitchen, but there aren't. Uh, but they're all so in our kitchen. Pretty. I want to see the excitement of knowing that I provided a home. Oh yes for birds. I, I love it. It's it's a way to teach little ones, but it's also yep. so much fun for us to look at too. Look how pretty that that Plus, is. That's I a great charge shot. rent. You do. You charge a little <laughs> bird yes. rent. That's nice. 
<laughs> I love that we added the succulent. It's something that's a little bit different. We all love to decorate with succulents because they're easy to decorate with. But the, the fact that we added them into uh, for a birdhouse and all is just so beautiful and all individually it's, it's, hand again, painted. Again, it's artwork for your yard. It certainly Enjoy. is. At, at a little over 20 bucks, $21.16. I've even got easy pay on this one too. We've got more. We've got so much more. Are we headed back, guys? No. Oh, okay, real quick.